massive undertaking. It certainly is. We're talking about a brand new $60 million facility smack in the middle of downtown. Let's show you where exactly it's going to be located. It's going to be located right across from the Southwest University uh, Park and between the El Paso and History Museums right there. And this right here is what it's going to look like. A four-story, 70,000 square foot space for children. It'll be the form of a cloud blending with the skyline. The base will be wrapped in glass. Architects say it'll have gathering areas influenced by the Chihuahuan Desert. A 60-foot atrium will give the public a view of one of its more prominent features, which the architect describes as a climbing structure for children. The limit climber, and it's probably about 50 feet tall, a little over, maybe 60 feet tall, and it gives an opportunity for kids to get really physical, to try and figure out how to negotiate their, their movements from bottom to top, because it will have a lot of variety, a lot of different ways of moving, crawling, uh, climbing. This is the, what she was just describing right now. That's just one of the features. I'm told there will be different exhibits for children depending on their ages. Doors to the Children's Museum are scheduled to open at the end of 2022. All right, well, I'll be waiting for that. All right, so well, thank you. And you'll remember voters approved $19.2 million for this project in 2012. Four years later, council committed another $20 million from certificates of obligation. Private donors are pitching in another $20 million. The Children's Museum, cost, features, and community involvement is the topic of ABC 7 Extra Sunday edition with host Saul Sainz.